Right, welcome, folks. Mill Spec Ops Monkey here. This is going to be your Monkey Minute for August 17th, 2021. All right now, we're going to kick things off today over here in the wars and rumors of wars where uh, the headline reads that Flashbang bungles Afghanistan. Now, this is kind of an interesting dynamic because it comes straight out of the playbook from the Kenyan, if you remember what happened in Syria with the big collapse and how it just it, it basically created this massive immigration push throughout Europe and the rest of the world. Uh, I think what we're seeing here is 2.0 because this is exactly out of their playbook. And so uh, here's what I find funny is Flashbang was just saying that uh, back in July, he said that the, the likelihood there's going to be the Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely. Well, guess what? As we watch this stuff unfold, you can see they have overrun everything and they have taken over the entire country. Now, this is a video of the airport that was on Instagram, uh, but we've got other videos that are surfacing that are just absolutely incredible when you watch this stuff unfold. Again, like what happened in Syria, uh, where we left a whole bunch of weapons caches, money, vehicles, whole bunch of different things. We've done the same thing here. Now, remember in, in Syria, that stood up ISIS and that caused, like I said, it pushed a major immigration crisis. And we're going to see the same thing here if I'm not, I'll bet my money on it. Okay. Now, here's the thing you have to keep in mind. Afghanistan borders on Pakistan. Okay. Pakistan is a nuclear capable country. All right. They have 165 warheads. You don't want the region to be destabilized because if it bubbles over into Pakistan, which uh, could very likely happen, that was one of the concerns. That's been a concern by experts since 2009. Um, if that happens and warheads get into the hands of either an Al-Qaeda or a Taliban or the like, uh, you basically are going to have a nuclear-capable terrorist organization out there. So this is really bad. Keep your eye on this because this is also setting the stage for Ezekiel 38. All right, now, speaking of Israel, let's get over here to the Palestinians where they're burning an effigy of Star David and a swastika inside. Now, you guys may have remembered, uh, I just did a, a blog, uh, you can find it on my website, monkeyworksus.com, uh, but I just did a blog over the weekend to talk about how the CDC is pushing green zones, which are basically, in essence, camps. And, uh, and that they are starting to identify people who have uh, not been vaccinated. And so uh, pay attention to that, that plan that's out there. So this big write-up, I show the plan. Uh, but what I'm seeing are a lot of things taking shape that are very reminiscent of Nazi Germany in 1945. And so uh, now while we're in Israel, uh, pay close attention because we've got uh, rockets that are being fired again out of Gaza um, remember now we've had them coming out of Lebanon, but it looks like Gaza's back on the mark too. But uh, this is probably going to be on the uptick as we get into September and their holy days. Um, this is a big one. Rosh Hashanah is, is probably the biggest holy day of the year. Uh, and so uh, I would imagine we're going to see this continued uptick. But pay close attention because with the uh, disruption going on with Afghanistan and that stuff in the region, uh, things could get way out of whack very quickly. So keep your eye on Israel uh, as we get into the month of September. All right, now, here's another one that's kind of get your attention. The EU is on the brink of collapse. Uh, this is coming from an ex-French PM who admitted things could fall apart in months. Now, he's saying that because of COVID and the economy and everything slowing down, that uh, it's basically taken a bad situation and made it worse. And so watch for that. Uh, if that collapse and there's a further breakup besides just the UK doing the Brexit thing, uh, this could destabilize that region as well. And we could have massive social unrest from it. Okay. All right. Now let's get over to natural disasters where Haiti just got whacked with a 7.2 earthquake. It killed 1,419 people. It's left 7,000, almost 7,000 injured. And it has basically destroyed 84,000 plus homes. Uh, this just took place and the numbers are still coming in, but this is a pretty bad, bad situation. Now, speaking of earthquakes, there have been a, just a multitude of seven plus, even some that are up in the nines, uh, just this last month. So, uh, this one, this popped in on, uh, August 12th 
7.5 magnitude earthquake down in the South Sandwich Islands. Now, you're asking yourself, like I was, where are the South Sandwich Islands? Uh, that's pretty diverse. That's down here in the very bottom of things. So didn't really impact anything, but uh, that the trend seems to be going on with these major, major earthquakes. So uh, again, pay close attention to that. Like I said before, Dutch Sense is the go-to for earthquakes. So if you want to track stuff and what's going on in real time, go check out his channel. And uh, uh, man, dude is good. And like I said, these earthquakes are on the uptick significantly. Okay. All right, now back over to Jerusalem, uh, but this time we're from the natural disaster side of it. Now, Jerusalem is in awe of an apocalyptic smoke cloud lingering over the Temple Mount. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen this. I didn't even hear about it till just recently, but this, uh, this is actually the cloud that's over the Temple Mount. It does look pretty ominous. Uh, but they're saying that this was actually started by a terrorist. And so uh, they went up and basically set fire to some 5,000 acres uh, outside of the city of Jerusalem. So you can see the clouds and everything covering. So, Yowza. All right, now let's get over to this one as part of the same thing. Now, when they set all this stuff on fire, remember uh, not too long ago, I was just telling you how uh, the first temple harps have been made in 2,000 years, okay? Uh, but not so fast check this out it says the harps that were built for the third temple destroyed in major jerusalem brush fire so it looks like that entire facility and all the tools that made these harps has been burned to the ground and so uh but this is this is kind of crazy when you think about it how much time and everything that's taken place in the timing of this now remember that the harps are just one of many elements that have been coming to surface for the first time in 2000 years. So I am sure that um, there are some harps that are ready to be played, but they'll have to be standing this back up. And I'm sure that, you know, the locals will rise to the occasion to get this done. So, okay, now let's get over here to the U.S. where for the first time, uh, the, this is like the first declaration of water shortage in Lake Mead and lower Colorado River Basin, signaling supply cuts to the southwest. So, Water tables are down. You can see it, uh, the marks on the rocks here, how down it is. But uh, they're saying that uh, they're basically, as a result, the lake will be operated in a so-called level one shortage condition for the first time ever, necessitating cuts to water allocations of Arizona, Nevada, and Mexico, and supplies to Arizona will be reduced by 18%, while Nevada and Mexico will see 7% and 5% cuts, respectively. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Perfect picture. Give you a, a real, I mean, if this doesn't paint the picture for you, nothing does. 1983, look at the water flow and just how you know, beautiful that looked. Now look at this, 2021, everything is just completely bare. That's insane. Um, wow, yowza. All right, now let's get over here to this one where the... Um, Greece, talking about scale of forest fire devastation in Greece, is threatened to ignite social and political unrest. Go figure. It's the world we're in, and the world is on its head. Now, they're saying over 100,000 hectares of forest and farmland were raised to the ground in Greece between July 29th and August 12th. Uh, and that's coming from the European Forest Fire Information System. Now, now you can see some of the pictures here going on there in Greece, but um, uh, this has been quite remarkable. This this uh, uh, you know this burnout, and so we're seeing it all over the world. So just pay close attention. We've got it here in the U.S. Um, you know what it makes you realize is that uh, the conditions for breathing between volcanoes and fires, uh, man, this could be unprecedented around the world. It actually could could really. Uh, start to change the actual temperature on the planet if we get so much of this stuff going at one time. Uh, remember back in the, when Rome fell, uh, it only changed by two degrees Celsius and that caused total calamity. So it doesn't take much to destabilize everything. And we're already kind of seeing that take shape relative to supply and things of that nature. So, all right. So, hey, listen, if you're looking at all this stuff and you're thinking, man, I, I can't take any more. This is, this is just doom and gloom, and it's, uh, it's really wearing on you, and you feel your anxiety kicking up. All I will tell you is just remember, hey, listen, 
The Bible tells us, Matthew eleven twenty eight, Come to me, all who labor and who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Just remember, lay it at his feet, folks. That's what he is there for, okay? And uh, don't try to carry all this anxiety and burden on your own. Just put it in his hands. God will take care of the rest, all right? Now, if you're curious about salvation, remember, it's as easy as ABC. A, admit that you're a sinner. Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. B, believe that Jesus is Lord and died for your sins. Acts 16.31, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. And C, call upon his name and confess your sins. 1 John 1.9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. All right, folks, listen, that's going to be our Monkey Minute for today. May God bless you and keep you and shine his face upon you. Monkey out. Check out the latest gear and products at monkeyworksus.com.